Hi, Stampin' Friends. Deborah Harrison here with Simply Sweet and Ink Designs. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Um, it has been a fun day today. Actually, it's been a fun month. I am, today is going to be my last live for the next couple of weeks. I am going to miss you, but I am getting ready to leave for my first incentive trip with Stampin' Up! to Norway. So I'm really excited about that. And um, I've been doing a uh, Earning the trip was a lot of work, and, and I thought it was a, it is a lot of work, but I had no idea how much was involved just preparing before you go on the trip. And so I, um, the last month, have been working real crazy, trying to make sure I get everything prepped before I leave, get all my customer project kits out in the mail so they can enjoy them this month. And But also, too, is I needed to make sure I have everything ready for when I come back in June so that all my crafting kits for June are all ready to go and I have everything I need. So I've been placing my order, getting that all ready, letting time work on my side so it can ship to me. Luckily, I have family member who's going to be here at the house so they can bring it into the house for me. But anyway, it has been a crazy month, but a fun month. And we do leave this next week. So I just have to tell you, I'm so excited because look at my to-do list. This is all I have left. I have been, I've gotten to this point, just need a pack, which I'm washing clothes today. I get to spend the weekend playing with my new Stampin' goodies from the annual catalog, and I need to check into my flight next week. So anyway, I'm really looking forward to sharing today's project with you before I take off for the next couple of weeks. But let me see who is joining us. Hello, Laura, Tina, Jan. Thank you, friends, for joining me. So let me tell you, we have been working... Ah, sorry about that. We have been working with the Cheerful Daisies bundle. And so, to, yes, last week I shared with you just a really simple card using the designer series paper and um, some embossing. I haven't done heat embossing very often, but we did that last week. This week, I want to share with you how to make a really just simple card using some of, there's a pattern in the designer series pack that's like the different blocks. So I'm going to show you how to cut it, a, a, a tip on how to cut it, and also to, I'm going to show you a really fun little technique to add a little pizzazz to your card. But before I do all that, let me go ahead and share a few things with you so you know what's going on. One, I, like I said, I have gotten like everything out the door for my customers. All their kits have already been mailed or picked up, but I do have two extra of the May Nested Friends Sweet Creation Club kits. So if you would like this kit, I have two left. Please message me, email me, text me, however you can get a hold of me. Uh, best by this weekend, if not today, so that I can mail it out by Tuesday. Because Tuesday, that's it. That's the last day I can mail it out till June. So if you're interested, let me know. I have two kits left. You will need the Nested Friends bundle unless you want to substitute with something else. All right. So I wanted to let you know who was the share winner from last week, and that is Patty Grana. She uh, shared on YouTube. So Patty... Uh, you're going to receive the adhesive back solid gems. Now, Patty, I'm not sure if I have your mailing address. So I'm going to try to message you, but hopefully you will hop on at some point. You will see this and you will message me. That would be awesome. Now, I do have a question. I have a past uh, prize from for Marilyn Scorker, and I have tried messaging her a few times and uh, tagging her here on Facebook. If anybody knows Marilyn, would you reach out to her and let her know that I have happy mail to send to her. I haven't been able to reach her yet. All right. So for next week's share prize, really fun project kit. So I had shared with you the last couple of weeks is beautiful cards that were designed by my team member, Kim Henderson. Well, we made these for our make and takes for the, for the month of May. And so I had one extra team project kit that I had cut and so uh, one lucky winner will win that. Uh, I, I asked Kim, I said, hey, Kim, I know this is your design. Can I have one kit left? Do you mind if I give it away? She gave me permission to do that, to share her beautiful designs with you. So if you would like to have a chance at winning this project kit, comment, shared, click on that little share button and share to your friends, either uh, tag a friend or share to your personal Facebook page. And then it will be a couple weeks, though, before I will select the winner. So bear with me. Now, to let you know what I have coming up, like I said, it is Cheerful Daisies. I am doing a lot of fun things with that, not only today, but also, too, for my Sweet Creations Club. 
I do have that open till June 5th to make uh, the project kit. We'll be making these beautiful set of cards as well as a really cute little uh, beautiful treat box with the Cheerful Daisies bundle. So you can go to my blog, check all that information out. Go ahead and share that with you real quick. Let's see. Let's do this one. That's the one I want you to look at. So go to my blog, click on the Sweet Creations Club link, and you can check that out. Now, I also, too, more fun with the Cheerful Daisies bundle is for my June Stampin' Bunko. If you have not, if you don't know what that is, basically what we do is we get together online through Zoom and we play Bunko, which is a really easy dice game. In fact, uh, several of you on here play with us. And so they can tell you it's a lot of fun, really easy to learn if you haven't played before. But we also do a little crafting beforehand. And so for June, we're going to be making five treat bags using the Cheerful daisies bundle um, everything's going to be pre-cut for you so you don't have to have the bundle unless you want the sentiments out of it or you just want it to make more but uh, you will need to provide your own ink your uh, sentiment and some adhesives but the rest will be provided for you and then just a really fun case to put it in so you can go and i think i have the link for the bunko in this video description so you can go check that out and to remind you, I'm not going to be on for the next two uh, weeks while I am on vacation. So, but do check your email. If you're on my email list, make sure that you're watching because I might have a special vacation offer for you while I'm gone. And if you're not on my email list, make sure you go over and subscribe. And the link to subscribe to my email is in the video post. All right, let's get into the project. All right, so as I said, we're using this Cheerful Daisies bundle. But we're also, too, going to use this large frame die from the Radiating Stitches dies to make this card that I showed you just a minute ago. But I wanted to, before we get into putting it all together, I want to show you how to cut this piece of designer series paper. Now, I've kind of already cut some of it, but if you have this designer series paper, uh, it's a little unique. It's a little bit different than some that we've had in the past. It is in like pattern blocks, kind of like a, a quilt in a way. And I wanted to show you how to cut it. So what you wanna do, the best way I feel is to start at this top section and you're gonna to wanna to cut, kind of cut that four inch like line. So cut that four inch line and that will remove those sections, okay? And then from there, you can kind of cut those pretty easily. But when you get to this section, what I recommend you do is you cut this line next and so when that's gone, then you'll cut this line, all right? That way you're not accidentally cutting into all your patterns. So remember the top, then the side, and then you can cut horizontally. So that is the best way to do it. But I'm going to use this piece. And as you see, my on here, the pattern, the yellow stripes are on the right. I want them on the bottom. So I need to cut that off and trim that down. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my trimmer here and let me look at my instructions now if you're on my email list you know tomorrow afternoon i'm going to email this to you so you have all the measurements and supplies here's a sample of how to start your cuts just as a reminder so i'm going to cut the yellow strip down to one and three quarters by four let's see so let's go ahead we're going to basically cut this it's going to be four inches cut off our daisy and so we have our really pretty daisy pattern and then I'm going to cut this piece to one and three quarters. And then I want to save this piece for another project at another time because it's too pretty to get rid of. All right, so now we can pull all our supplies in. So we're just going to have a really simple card base. This measures four and one quarter by 11 inches. Just score down the middle at five and a half inches. Really super simple to do. Now, what I like to do is I want to start with adding my striped piece at the bottom. So we're going to put that on first, just along the bottom here, leave a little bit of a border. And then we're going to take our daisy block and we're going to put that on top. Straighten that out a little bit. All right, so it's beautiful as it is, but I wanted to bring in some of the green that's in this daisy block. 
So what I what we can, what a lot of times I will do is I'll just take a little strip of cardstock. But I thought, you know, rather than it just being kind of plain Jane, which it would be totally beautiful this way, don't get me wrong, but I thought we would do something really cool. Do you see those little serrations, those lines? That actually comes from the radiating stitches die. So I wanted to share with you today how that you can get that really cool look. It's really easy to do. So what I'm gonna do is let me get my die cutting machine in place here. And I just took, a piece of garden green cardstock. And really, I'm not so worried about how wide it is, but the length, I do want the length to be four inches. So we're gonna grab that large rectangle die from the radiating stitches dies. I need another plate here, that would not be good. Actually, I think this goes on bottom. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to line up the inside metal edge at the very edge of that piece of garden green cardstock. And I'm gonna make sure that it's kind of centered here to here because this die actually starts to curve right here at the corners and I don't want that curved part in my, in my design. All right, and that is what we end up with, a really cool accent that we can add to our card, just kind of give it a little more interest. And so we're just gonna glue that piece on and we're just gonna cover it, cover our seam with it. Now I'm actually probably gonna put it pretty high up so that I allow plenty of room for my sentiment. All right, so next what I want to do is I have die cut out from the daisy dies. I have die cut out, believe it or not, that is three layers because I wanted to give it lots of oomph and dimension to the project. So what we have is we have the base, then we're gonna have the center part. Now how I got the middle layer is from the large die cut. The nice thing about this is you can snip these apart and you can have them whatever parts that you want. If you don't want the whole large piece, just cut off, you can cut the leaves off, cut the large daisy off, however you want. And then you're gonna have, there's your middle layer. And then here is my accent layer right here. So I'm just gonna glue those pieces together. Now the fun part is trying to figure out how they go. And believe it or not, once you have it lined up properly, you just know, you just know that you know, because it just, goes together beautifully. All right, looks like that worked well. So I'm gonna add on my accent piece. Just gonna put a little glue around the center there. Again, let's figure out how this goes together. Let's see, does it go that way? There it is. Yay, got it, cool. All right, so another thing I wanna do is I want to match the daisy that's in my paper. So what I did is in the die set, there is this really kind of funky looking center to the flower. So I'm gonna pop that up with a mini dimensional. And I cut this out of Daffodil Delight. And we're just gonna stick it right in the middle of our flower. That way it kind of looks like the flower that is in that really pretty paper. All right, so let's go ahead and let's do our sentiment label. Now, the nice thing in the, di the daisy dies, there is a really cool sentiment label that's got this really cute little cutouts. I forgot that I loaned that to my prep angel, and so she has that die. So instead, we're just gonna use a narrow stitch rectangle die. Works totally the same, it'll be fine. So you can always substitute. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna take the oops the daisy, so sorry, and I'm gonna stamp on the right edge of my layer. And this is in pecan pie. That's one of our new ink colors. Now, when I put this on, it's a little bit long, so I'm just gonna snip just a little bit off, maybe about half an inch. Now on that die, you don't need to do that. You'll be fine. But on this one, I wanna snip some off because it's a little more than I need for my project. All right, so we're just gonna add that here on the bottom. 
Now I can pop up my flower with a dimensional. I'm going to put it here in the corner. And then next what I want to do is I want to add my leaves. So we're going to use garden green ink and some basic white cardstock, stamp our leaves. Now we're going to need two leaves from the die set. Stamp that. There we go. With a little bit of movie magic, we have these die cut out all ready for us to put on our project. So I'm just going to take a little bit of glue, pop these under, and I just kind of want to accent around my sentiment. And there we go, guys. There is the card for today. All right. So I, like I said, next week I will not be here. I will not be here until back in June. Actually, I won't be back with you till then. So, guys, I really hope that you all have a wonderful next couple of weeks. Please, as you create and design stuff, share those pictures with me. I love seeing what you make. And I hope to be able to share some pictures of the Norway trip with you. And also, too, if you haven't seen the incentive gifts, I think I might share those with you, too. So, all right, guys, y'all take care. Thank you so much for crafting with me. And I hope you'll have a great weekend. Bye, guys.